In this video, we'll get our player moving in an eight directional top down movement. So, starting with a new project in our hierarchy, right click and go 2D object sprites square and name this player. And then over in our inspector, add a rigid body 2D, set the gravity scale to zero so we don't fall down. Then open constraints and tick freeze Z rotation. Now we'll click add component, click new script and name it movement. Double click your script to open it up. And inside our script, we'll add a public float called speed and set this to a default of 0 0.5. Then a private rigid body 2D called RB. And a private vector 2 called input. In our start method, we'll set our rigid body to equal get component rigid body 2D. We're going to be using our update method, which is best for inputs and timers. And also our fixed update method which is best used for our physics. In our update method, we'll type input.x equals input.getAxisRaw and in here, pass horizontal. Then copy this line below and replace the x with a y and horizontal with vertical. Then we'll type input.normalize and this makes our diagonal movement the same as our other movements. Otherwise, diagonal would be faster. In our fixed update method, we'll use these inputs to calculate our movement. So type rb.velocity equals input times speed. And that's it. Now when we press play, we can see our player is very slow. But since our speed is public, we can set it while playing to test different speeds. So let's change it to 5. Now we can move in all directions using the WSAD keys or the arrow keys. And we can up it to 10 to go even faster. And that's it. I'll be putting the code file for this on my Patreon for free. So you can grab it in the link below there. As well as any of my previous videos files. See you later. And don't forget.